Hey guys, um, this is me, Whitney. And excuse the bare face, dry skin look, but um, I'm getting ready. I just took a shower, so I haven't like put any lotion on or anything like that. I just wanted to show you what I was doing with my hair. I just took out one of them. Oh, as you guys know, I made a three-fourths uh, wig with my uh, Virgin Remy hair, which you can find on thatlook.com. I know, shameless plug. Um, what I use uh, right now are these flexi rods, and they're like this thick. I like the medium size ones, and I put them in overnight because you know I'm natural and I straightened it. But I'm just waiting until I can get uh, a closure um, or do an invisible part, whichever one comes first. But let me show you my wig and how it looks. So here she is. <clears throat> Uh, in all her glory. I love her! And this is the part where my own hair actually comes out. And I sew, finished sewing on the clips. So I have uh, a clip on each end on here, two clips on the side, and one clip I sewed in the back. As you guys can see. Now, the thing with these clips, I noticed is like unlike my other wigs that you would like the store bought ones, I can't like um just like take my wig off my head or whatever. If I did that with this, I'll be ripping out edges and stuff like that. So definitely when you take off this wig, you have to be more careful. So yeah, this is all sewed onto a dome cap. I'm sure it's really easy to do. It took my sister two hours. And then me with the, the clip, like, a well, couple of seconds. Um, so I'm going to just take these out and, yeah. I mean, there's no <laughs> method to this madness, but. Um, anyways, uh, why, the reason I wanted to really make this video was to just um, show you guys, like, you know, in terms of taking care of your hair, I think my hair grew the fastest when I first big chopped, mostly because I was keeping low maintenance style and because low maintenance styles and the fact that I wasn't, you know, I didn't have to spend so much time detangling. So I instantly went to like moisturizing my hair. Um, now that my hair is longer, it's harder for me to maintain because, you know, in, as well as, you know, moisturizing, I have to think about detangling. You know, detangling can definitely be an obstacle when it comes to growth. And so right now I try and keep my hair in stretch styles, whereas when I first went natural, I didn't really do much with stretch styles. I was really into washing those because my hair was short enough um, when it came to detangling. I didn't mind it, and it didn't take as long. But now my hair, like, it would take way longer um, to detangle my hair. And so it's not even worth it. And so I try and keep my hair as stretched as possible. Um, and because I'm trying to keep my hair stretched as possible, that means I need to be in my hair doing like twists or braids, you know, actually um, getting into those uh, stretch styles for it to not shrink. Because if I left it in a puff all the time, it would still shrink. My hair would still shrink if I just kept it in a puff because um, I'll be spraying with moisture in you know, my water spray bottle. I'll be, you know, it would shrink because the moisture I would um, put in there just to keep it, you know, nice and soft and maintained. So stretched out like braids are really are really good for me. But the thing is sometimes it's not necessarily the look you want. Right now I have my hair um actually I had put them in mini twists and I left the mini twists in. So my hair is still in mini twists and then I braided the mini twists down into braids and that's what I wear under my wig. That way I can still moisturize my hair without worrying so much Although it makes no sense that I'm doing this right when I took off this. And then I fall with my oil. And that's about it. And I'm going to throw my wig on. I'm actually going to just pin the ends up. I mean, I could have my sister sew it down for me, but. Yeah. 
Now, I could do way more in terms of moisturizing, but I moisturized yesterday, so, right before I got, so, last night, so, it's not really a big deal to moisturize right now. What I do when I throw on this wig, okay, oh, I'm struggling right now, so let me make this small suggestion for you guys. When you're doing it, make sure all the, because I got the cheapy, cheapy clips, so make sure that um, all the clips are down first before you tuck them in. Because it's like the clips, you can close them. But I tend to wear them open. So, so close them first and then position it how you want it. Now that it's positioned, I'm going to open the clips and clip. I'm going for a middle part. What I'm going to do is just comb this out. I'm going to show you how to buy Now, um, I just comb it down until it kind of just blends with the hair, the wave, I mean, as you can see on this side. Now, I do have a little frizz on the top with my natural hair, but I don't mind it. So what you would do is separate it and just comb it down to a blend. I want to make sure I got the back and that the back tracks are covered, which they are. 